And Fletcher Brown with another artist video blog at kicks96country.com. Our guest today, all the way from Nashville, Tennessee, by way of the great state of Illinois, please welcome Annie Vander. How are you, Annie? Hey there, how are you? All right, I love your hat, by the way. Oh, thank you. All right, I always like it when um, artists come and visit me and they have, you know, interesting, you know, headwear. Because the thing is with me is, like, I love hats. I actually am a big fan of cowboy hats, but I look dumb wearing them. So I'm I can sure never you wear don't. them. I'm oh, sure no, you don't. I look dumb. I look really dumb. <laughs> No. Um, but that doesn't stop me from wearing them. I just say I look dumb. I acknowledge, I embrace that I look dumb wearing them. Oh, wow. <laughs> so don't pick on yourself. It's... We're gonna we're gonna end that in this session, maybe. <laughs> maybe I don't know. All right, well, good luck to you. All right, I'm a hat guy. I love hats. Uh, okay. I, I do have a fedora. I wear a fedora from time to time. I like dumb in it too, but I don't care. I love a fedora. All right, so Annie, let's learn a little bit about you. Now you've got a brand new single, "He Himself and Him," and yep. we're gonna talk about that in just a minute. Um, but let's learn about uh, the young lady from Illinois. You're like, where did your beginning in music, you know, where did that come from? Um, well, I, um, I technically, I guess I've probably been singing since I can remember. Okay. Probably since I first watched Dating Myself. <laughs> First watched the musical Annie. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. So you remember the little redhead girl and she's singing The Sun Will Come Out Tomorrow. And I just remember thinking, I could sing it just <laughs> as good as her. You know, the competitive part of me, right? Mm -hmm. So, um, yeah. So I just always wanted to do it, I think. So in school, I did band. I played clarinet. Um, I did choir, things like that. Um, and then college years, like early, I never finished an official, like, college degree, but I did do some community college. So anyway, those um, late teens, early 20s, I would go to the karaoke bars and just always thought, what if, what if, and I got a real job. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and, uh, and I went, um, I worked at a bank for a couple years, then I worked in the veterinary industry. I was a veterinary technician, had my own business. Um, I spun off and started pet sitting, dog walking, became a certified dog trainer. Um, I absolutely adore animals. My husband and I have no kids. We have fur kids. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so um, three dogs. And um, yeah, so anyhow, the pet care business of my own, I had from like 2012 to 2019 until I fell down, shattered my wrist. And um, and that's a whole story in itself. Wrote, wrote a song about that too, which maybe you've heard about. Um, but either way, um, that's what landed me in Nashville and um, on some radio stations and sitting in a place like this talking to you. Mm -hmm. Um, so yeah. yeah. Was, okay, so, so um, your story kind of does take a turn. It's like you, yeah. music is a part of your life from a very young age. Yeah. Um, you go though a very you know kind of normal route, you yeah. know, but music is always there. Um, I'm assuming the single "Falling in the Nashville" was the story of uh, the accident. Yeah. You know. Yeah. Uh, can what's that story? Oh gosh. Okay. So um, uh, try to sum it up real short. So basically. Um, when I lost that business in 2019, it was because I fell down, shattered my wrist. I developed a uh, neurologic, neuro, oh my gosh, I can't talk, neurologic pain disorder called chronic regional pain syndrome. It's a really rare disorder. Um, your brain doesn't process pain correctly and you're constant and it's like you're in this pain loop. Um, anyway, not to bore you with those details, but a lot of people don't live a normal life after they're diagnosed with it. Mm -hmm. I'm fortunate enough to be in remission. Um, so mm -hmm. my accident was January of 2019, 60 below in Chicago, fell on the ice while we were leaving for a Southern Caribbean cruise. Oh! <laughs> Oh, I know. Oh, it hurts my heart. <laughs> oh, it hurts my I heart. If I wrote a story, like wrote a book to be like, oh, yeah, and they're about to go on this cruise and this and that, and blah, blah, blah. But then I don't think I could make this up, like seriously. So anyway, um, cruise did not happen. Um, I remember going to lay down on the ice and my husband goes, get up. And I'm like, why are you yelling at me? You know, and. Obviously, I was in shock because no one in the right mind lays on the ice in 60 below. So anyway, I somehow got back to our house because um, did I mention we were dropping a key off at the neighbor's house? Mm -hmm. We were worried that the doors weren't going to open and stuff. So either way, we get back into our own house. My bags are at the door because the Uber was on the way to come and get us. And um, he goes, are we going to the hospital or are we going to the airport? <laughs> so um, anyway. Fast forward, um, it wasn't just the wrist break, then I was diagnosed with chronic regional pain syndrome. Um, I reached remission point around November 2019. So fast forward four months, now COVID. Um, oh. Yeah. So um, I was 
kind of half joking with somebody when I said, yeah, 2019 almost kind of prepped me for 2020 because I was homebound with my own stuff. Um, and, uh, you know, just because I was just in so much pain, even though I broke my wrist, it traveled up my arm into my shoulder everywhere else. And I was in so much pain some days I couldn't even walk. And that shouldn't happen when you break your arm. Mm -hmm. Right. So, um, so anyway, I ended up at a door and window company. So I had a normal job. And then when COVID had had time off, I um, had an email address in my hypothetical back pocket uh, for an artist coach. And he was based in Nashville, still is, and I still work with him. His name is Paul. He's amazing. And I said, you know, I, I play wind instruments and I can't sing my own music if I play a wind instrument. So can you help me learn piano or guitar? I want to dig into music theory and songwriting and things like that. Um, and not that there's anything wrong with singing cover songs, but um, I just wanted to do my own thing. So um, anyway, the rest is history, and uh, here I am. So, I mean, well, okay, um, you've, you've got an amazing story um, living with uh, chronic regional pain syndrome. Mm -hmm. um, you released uh, Tonight. Was that the album or is that a song? That is a song. Um, it's it's based on the story of how my husband and I got together. Okay. Um, it because we were friends. But we actually were friends for like five years, and it was just kind of on and off, on and off. Oh gosh, what was the line in the song? If he only knew, I felt the same way too. I'm sure he'd turn around, or um, I'm sure he'd turn around and make a move. And but it was funny because our real story was that he was making a move on me in a karaoke bar, you know, <laughs> and I was like blind to it. And a friend of mine is just like, Brian likes you. I'm like, no, he doesn't. He's like, I'm like, he's Brian. Like, so, but you know, sometimes when you write, like, I know what the story is, but you have to write songs so everybody can relate to them. Mm -hmm. So, but yeah, but so he kind of laughs. And it was funny. I was doing a different interview a few weeks ago and he goes, you finally said it. So here, this is the second time. <laughs> All right. Well, so tonight's the story of you meeting your husband falling in the Nashville is the story of you getting your music career going in, yeah. in the city. Uh, and now we're at he, himself, and him. Yes. Which, if you're paying attention <laughs> to the song, you realize, oh, this is about a narcissist. Yes. All right. So where did this song come from? <laughs> so, so my producer and I, I started co-writing down in Nashville. And he and I wrote a song called Tragedy. And that was kind of like maybe going to be the next one that I cut. And I was like, I'm not, just not like, it's a good song, but I'm like, I'm not feeling it right now. And he's like, but it's a good song. It's a good song. And so we're him and, you know, him and Han going back and forth. What's next? And um, out of nowhere, I felt like anyway, and he probably had the wheels turning in his head. He goes, check this out. And he goes, his damn Diego wraps around him like a cheat suit, 80 proof and putting on the hard moves. And then he goes, he's kind of cute, but he's coming on too strong. And then he's like going on and on. But when he, he told me the title first, and he goes, it's he, himself, and him. I'm like, okay, where are you going with this? And he goes, it's all about he, himself, and him. And I'm so sick and tired of them. And he's such a good storyteller that I was just like, you know, I'm like, and he, and he just kept going on. I'm like, I got to cut it. I got to cut it. You know, so it's the first song that I didn't write, but I felt like I, I just wanted something fun and upbeat. And I was probably telling him a story about something else. And that's probably what like the light switch flipped. And he wrote this song years ago, like 10, 15 years ago or something with CC Dubois. And I'm so glad he introduced me to it. Um, I ended up meeting CC and now me, David and CC co-wrote a song together too. So we, there's, there's lots of stuff in the pipeline and everything else, but um, I don't know. I just felt like this is something, even though I haven't been in the dating scene for a long time, everybody knows a narcissist somewhere right so yeah everybody knows that guy been on a bad date or 20. first time i heard the song i was like oh wow she dated a radio guy oh so <laughs> you can't know not, not you though not you, you. Know, like, so um annie if somebody's listening to your story and they're just like this is like some of the most amazing you know storytelling i've ever heard and i want to know more about her and i want to hear more of her music where do they go look for you on the internet um you could find me um i'm on youtube um, I am on um, Facebook, uh, Annie Vander, or Annie Vander Music. I'm on Instagram, Annie underscore Vander. And I'm I'm still trying to do TikTok a little better. I am on there. Um, I don't post as much as I should, but I have to get better at it. I think we're all trying <laughs> so. to do TikTok a little better. <laughs> All Some right. of these, we're like, like the, the younger generation than me anyway, they've got it down. <laughs> yeah, they do. We will link to any social media. Uh, just uh, look below. 
uh, the video here. We're going to link off to her social media. And uh, look for a live performance from Annie Vander elsewhere here on our YouTube channel. Annie, thanks for coming and visiting us, being on our artist video blog. Thanks so much for having me, Fletch. All right. And uh, we will see you next time on another artist video blog, kicks96country.com. He himself and him.